because uh, today I met Mr. Boots here, Mark. Hello. Say hello, Mark. Hello, Mark. So we're in this wooded area. Mark was in this area before, got some 50 Spanish there. I think the housing stock around here is from the 50s. Uh, that couple pennies, another penny. But in the hall, something shined up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Familiar look. Looks like we got a dimer. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a bit older. 1940. Nice. There it is, 19. 1940, Georgie. Pretty bald there. Nice shift, yeah. Yeah, didn't scratch it. That's, uh, you know, 50 50 chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll keep going a little bit in here. All right, so we're gonna move along, but uh, I got a lid, but it was plastic, so I'm like, that couldn't have rang like this. Right there, there's a lid. But under the lid, a coin popped out. It was ringing like a penny, so I'm like, this, this isn't a penny. Let's, let's see what that is. I have no idea. Can you see it yet? Maybe British. Oh, I see it kind of like that. Pitchforky type thing. Pitchforky is kind of a thing. 1659. <laughs> I think it's a British penny. I thought for a moment it was a V nickel, but the V nickel wouldn't sound that. Or maybe a token of some sort. Alright, I'm gonna clean it up. For the next shot if there is a there is one here there is not many targets i think it's a british penny i think i'd see 1945 i think 19 or 60 1964 probably british that would probably make it young less pretty crusty so can clean it now. Anyway, we'll remain a mystery for about a few minutes. Getting darker, I don't know how much time we have, but Mark is on the board on the road with a dime, he says. What is it? Georgie, too. I call Georgie. No, young Liz. Hey, still silver for nice today. Shiny, very shiny. Sounded like a penny. Yeah. Nineteen sixties. It's twenty-five, but then it sixties had the sharp twang. I think e even sixty. Let's zoom in on it. Shines sixty even. Yes. Very shiny. There you go, congrats. Sweet. All right, we switched to the spot. It's getting dark. Not much hope, but it's just like a penny. Looks like it could be a dime. Let's see. Shines like a dime. Yeah, it's definitely a dime. Young Liz. <laughs> Holy moly. Well, let's uh, spend a couple more minutes here. It's just that couple modern pennies. Awesome. Number two for the day. Nothing like a little dime. 1958. Alright, uh, another day. Got some unfinished business in this park. I thought there's got to be a gold ring here. So it's my like third time, I think third time here, or maybe fourth. So far, let me, let's just look inside what we got. No, that's not a gold ring. 
Oops. But it did look good. I think it's just a junk ring. It has some kind of a writing on it. Definitely not a gold ring, would have shined better. A little bit of a change, dog tag. Three dollars maybe, total. One American. But anyway, I got, uh, I keep looking, I got uh, solid 30 signal, kind of uh, not very consistent. Uh, thought it might be deep junk, but I'm not, I gotta dig it anyway. There's got to be junk around here. Look at this. Got a silver ring in the hole. Showing up. Oh, looks like a pretty decent one. Yep. Gotta get dirty a little bit. Yeah, definitely a silver ring. Yeah, there's 925 stamp over there. Yeah, pretty nice. Nothing old or nothing too heavy, but it is a silver ring. And it's better to get a silver ring than none. Awesome. I'm in that bushy area with Mr. Boots today. What did we find so far? You got 41, 41 pennies, pennies, some square nails. I got 67 penny. I went to area nearby that was modern, got some change. I got like a solid 20. Uh, well, I wouldn't say solid, but uh, solid enough to dig it. Uh, the soil is beautiful here sandy I think uh, silver earring popped out uh, if it's silver let's take a look something pendant earring something weird is it bent that's interesting uh, you know what it doesn't doesn't have the silver weight <laughs> doesn't have any markings maybe it's not so I think it's bent is it yeah I think it's bent let me unbend it hold on to the camera oh, I think it's gonna break if I I'll bend well, it more. Like a little spoon on the end. <laughs> yeah, it's very light. I don't know, it looks silver. I don't want to bend it more. I think it would would break if I bend it anymore. Well, anyway, whatever that is. Very nice. All right, Mark's digging it. He called me over. He had the only signal so far for us. I got the pew pew. Where is it? Right there. Solid 30 banging by the fence. Uh, in this place, uh, this place was heavily handed, I was told. But you got a dime. Congrats. How was the signal? It's a 22. Young Liz, still, it's a little, yeah. did you clip it or someone before you? Uh, probably someone before. Someone before <laughs> you. All right, awesome. Yeah, that's an old, what year is it? 62. 62, good idea to come here. Yeah. Well, for you at least so Which far. This is my first signal. I walked the whole place, I haven't got one signal yet. All right, I got a deep penny signal. Near the gold post. Nothing indicating silver. Pretty deep, pulled it out of there. Well, seven inches probably. 
Look at this. Look at it. Oh, oh, oh Georgie. 1940. George Dime. Nice. Dirty, that's why. That's why it was sounded like a penny. But there's only deep signals here mm. left, pretty much. So that's good. I'm on board. You're on board. Yep. Let's get going. Would it ring? All right. I got like three big pieces of pipe. We moved uh, from over there to over here. And it was a shallow signal, Mark says. KG5. Dime. Warren. Yeah. I don't think you're gonna be getting a date on this one. No, maybe. It's Congrats. <laughs> There's still a couple of things left pain. behind here. All right, we've reached that time in the video. Time for a recap. Uh, three hands here. Um, first one. And the last one with uh, Mr. Boots, Mark. And I went to a football field in between uh, looking for gold. Uh, got a silver ring. Anyway, let's look it over. This uh, seems to be a bit older. It says Economy Irrigation Company, patent pending. Obviously from sprinklers. Uh, Probably twenty dollars or so worth of change. Couple U.S. quarters, couple dog tags. I got more, but uh, they're still in the pouch. Uh, older pennies, a few, nothing really too old. Mostly fifties and sixties. Um, the oldest one is this nineteen thirty-six wheat cent. There it is, 1936. Couple other items. Uh, this rang really good piece of lead. Talking about lead, I did get probably about 20 pounds of lead from the last spot that we hit. Uh, I got three pipes, lead pipes, that uh, big ones, huge ones. Uh, that uh, I didn't found them, but uh, probably about 20 pounds of lead, lead from taken away from the environment. Uh, in other things, that's the tip of an arrowhead, some junk jewelry. Uh, this one looked kind of good initially, but I put it in citric acid and uh, corroded gold plated ring, um, copper ring. So this uh, tiny little little spoon pendant thingy maybe for snaff some people said it's for earwax removing uh i don't know exactly but uh, it is what it is kind of cool to find one it says they're nine to five somewhere um looks like uh made in mexico talking about uh, made in mexico i think that ring silver ring it's made in Mexico too. There is uh, some stamping there. I'm pretty sure it says nine to five. Then didn't clean up very well where the stamp is. Anyway, let me see if I can show this to you. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit more and see if we can can see. Yeah, actually, I think it says nine to five there. It says something. Hundred percent sure it's silver though. Zoom out. Three silver dimes. Uh, two George the Six. Nineteen forty. I think this one was nineteen fifty-two, or I could be wrong. 1940 was this one 1940 yeah they're both 1940 and uh, young list dime from uh, 1958 
so not a lot but uh, but something on every hand which is uh, which is still good and that's uh, that about covers it and uh, I'll see you on the next night to find our adventure take care